If you guys want to penetrate other markets with your content, you talk to people in their own languages and they're going to feel more taken care of. That's what we do. Even though he's really big already and has millions of followers, Metabolismo TV, Natural Slam, they're new to the world. There's 7.5 billion people on the planet. We have 4 million subscribers. You put a 4 million next to a 7.5 7 billion and you'll see the difference in zeros here. We're just getting started spreading the message out into the world. We just launched last week. We, we took our main YouTube channel and we got it translated to eight languages. So two weeks ago, we launched French, Italian, English, German, Russian, Arabic, Portuguese, Dutch, all right? So in a matter of two weeks, we said, we're gonna take this content and we're gonna get it seen by a lot of people for a couple of reasons. Number one, he's a content unicorn. He's ridiculous. I'm not, as much as I'm like, well, my dad is not creating content anymore. Let me just get him replaced because he's so good at it. You're not getting these people replaced. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting another Frank Suarez. It's not happening again on this planet. The ability that he had to communicate doesn't really exist that much. So why not take his content and his message and just get it widely disseminated throughout the world? And that's what we're doing. We're getting in front of as many people as possible. So it's incredible, the potential, especially languages that are out there that are underserved. Spanish language is still underserved in many different areas. I don't get to see incredibly powerful marketers, for example, talking in Spanish all the time. In the United States, there's 50 million Latin American people. We don't have a major Latin American influencer in the subject of marketing. We don't have that one. I should be talking more in Spanish. I don't. You can see here that we are opening up channels on every single language. So we launched, well, so we have the related channels that our main channel, which has 4.4 million subscribers on it, is a Spanish one. And then we have the Natural Slim YouTube channel, which funny, it was the first one that we ever created. That was created in 2008 too, which just didn't have a lot of life in it yet. Frank Suarez YouTube channel, we created it after my dad's passing. I made one post and it grew, it grew 60,000 subscribers. And then we have like all the languages in here. So we are doing one language per channel. So if you guys are, are wanna penetrate other markets with your content, you talk to people in their own languages and they're gonna feel more taken care of. That's what we do. And do we translate or just do the subtitles? Like, is it the audio or just subtitles? That's a great question, Jorge. So Jorge is asking, do you do subtitles only or do you dub in the audio? So in our case, it depends on market research. Market research. Mm. For example, if we were doing only Mexico, let's say that our channel was in English and we wanted to get into the Mexican market. If we're going to do uh, the Mexican market and we're going to translate our content from English to Spanish, you got to research the country itself. When they go to the movies, do they actually watch dubbed or do they watch the captions? In Puerto Rico, I can tell you, I would never in my entire life spend a single dime to watch a movie dubbed. Why? Because I speak the language. But in Mexico, they want to follow along the dialogue. So they like dubbed. So it depends on the market that you want to penetrate. When we went to Europe, for example, in Holland, we first started with uh, dubbed. Uh, why are we at Holland? Because we have products there already and we're working on adding products on other countries that we're adding right now. But in Holland, uh, we, we started with dubbed and then we weren't catching any fire. We didn't catching any attention. And we quickly realized that we did some research and we realized that people in Holland, they don't like to watch dubbed content. They like to go to the movies and watch a movie with captions. So what we did was that we actually just got the channel captions at the bottom of every video. So they hear my dad and they see the captions uh, below it and they can read while my dad is talking and then we just have the system in place.